Hello guys, happy leap year. A day celebrated once every four years. So what do you do on a day that you only get to celebrate once every four years? Well, you do something that, uh, well, I do something that it seems like I only work on once every four years. I am gonna work on the bathroom. Yes, it needs done. And today is a perfect day to get started on doing it. Come join us, won't you? My garage, ladies and gentlemen, it's a mess. Here's the thing. We need to sell a lot of this baby stuff. In order to sell a lot of this baby stuff, we are planning on having one or two garage sales this spring and summer. Uh, in order to have one or two garage sales this spring or summer, uh, all this stuff that is buried under here that goes to the bathroom needs to be installed in the bathroom. So that's the plan. Uh, I'm gonna work on the bathroom. Uh, later we'll come back and work on this stuff. But I need to swing around, come in here, and get this going. Uh, my first step's gonna to be to clean. Now it does look pretty clean. We cleaned it for the party, uh, Lincoln's birthday party. But it needs scrubbed. This needs scrubbed. Uh, a lot of stuff needs scrubbed. It needs a deep cleaning. And then we're gonna dive into uh, working on the bathroom itself. Not sure what I'm gonna do yet today, but the goal is to at least work in here for the foreseeable future as much as I can. Well, I don't know if you could tell or not, but uh, that cleaned up very well. Uh, we were just down there scrubbing and wiping and scrubbing and wiping. Uh, all that, and all it was was uh, drywall stuff when the ceiling fell. I don't know if you guys remember that. We were in the process of doing this room and uh, we put it on hold for a little bit. And while it was on hold, the upstairs toilet started linking and the ceiling fell and so that drywall is like everywhere uh, you can kind of see it like I don't know if you can see it or not kind of see it like here I gotta wipe all this stuff down still so yeah so it's just like drywall dust and uh particles and stuff that kind of got like stuck to the wall and they're wiping right off so it's going really well so uh the first step of cleaning up is actually going really well it's taking longer than I wanted it to that always happens and I'm used to that but going well so far Okay, I'll be the first to admit I'm not the best tile worker in the world. I am an amateur when it comes to tile work. But I did go back and start laying in tile here. Just dry fitting it. I'm going to come over here and lay in this side. Then I could come back and cap all this. And then at least the tile work will be done. I can check that off the list. Uh, that'll be a huge step once all this tile work is done. Of course, I got to go in and grout all this. But that won't take that long at all. Cutting this, for me, personally, takes the longest. Okay, and that side is dry fitted, ready to put these in. And I think I'm going to do that now. I'm going to uh, go ahead, grab the, uh, whatever it's called, knock her out, uh, the compound, the thin set, uh, and go ahead and put those in, and these in, so tomorrow, I can come back and start working on the cap, putting the cap in. Now, originally I was gonna use these little ones, these half tiles, but that's a lot of cutting. And I'm not a cutting expert. I feel like I do better just using half big tiles. I could cut those better. So I don't know. I'm gonna mess around with that for a little bit now, and then we'll see where we stand. Okay, up close and personal. And again, don't judge me. Like, I know that's not perfect. I know, like I get it. I'm not an expert tile cutter, but by the time you all grout it and everything, you'll barely be able to know. And for what I'm using this for is just a little like cleanup bathroom. It's fine. It'll serve the point. Uh, this represents the shower glass enclosure. Uh, it's gonna go from, uh, well, seam to seam. And uh, yeah, I just think cutting tiles and having cut tiles here isn't a good idea because then you're going to have cracks and you're going to have water getting into things water shouldn't be getting into. I think whole tiles along here are a good idea. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go buy some whole tiles tomorrow. I need to figure out how many I need and go from there. Then uh, these should be set already. And I could just go ahead and cut these, put these in place. That will be done. And you won't see any more red 
I'll grout all this stuff so you won't see any red behind the walls. And I'll, yeah, we'll be in a good spot. I need to really focus on the ceiling. I gotta get that taken care of. That's soon to be on the agenda. I gotta get a buddy of mine to go get some drywall with me. As soon as that happens, the ceiling will be going up. Okay, I just wanted to check my work here. So I cut this tile down to five inches, which is this distance. Put it on here like I would, as if it were to be, you know, set in. Uh, it is pretty much dead level uh, that way, which is awesome. If I turn it this way, it has what looks to be about an eighth inch slope towards the center, which is perfect, which it needs to be, so the water will run into the shower, not onto the floor. Yeah, surprisingly, I don't know how, this is all like perfectly like set up exactly the way it should be. I uh, kind of impressed myself because again, I was all making this up on the seat of my pants. Yeah, so, okay, I'm gonna go grab the uh, thin set. We're gonna put these down and we're gonna go from there. Well, you gotta love when the plan comes together. And well, unfortunately for me, that never happens and still won't. The thin set, uh, yeah, went bad. It's been over, well over a year, year and a half, two years maybe even since I like did any like tile work in that bathroom. So yeah, the, the thin set went bad. Uh, got a little bit moldy, uh, which I didn't know it could do that. Uh, that's interesting to me. I don't, I don't know. Does, is that normal? I don't know. Uh, I'm not a construction guy. So tomorrow when I go get tile, I'm going to also have to go get thin set. Uh, so we'll put everything behind a day or two. That happens. Oh, well. So, yeah, I think with that all being said, I'm going to wrap this up. A shorter video, probably. I don't know how long this is. But uh, at least we got started in the bathroom, a project I only work on every four years. And I started on leap day. Yeah, I, I did it on purpose. Okay, we'll talk to you next time. Remember, smile. It confuses people. Bye, guys.